Hello everyone, I'm here and uh, welcome to the uh, the episode where I review a My Little Pony Creepypasta finally. Uh, this one is MLP FIM Season 3 Lost Episode Dead Twilight Sparkle. Yeah, we're starting off with a great one today. I mean, like, I, I mean... It, there is a highlight on the wiki on top of the page that says MLP FIM blah 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 is an article that has no quality at all. It has a high chance of being deleted soon and anyone who is given the slightest care about this article being featured should improve it ASAP. The reason for its potential deleting is it's too similar to the death of Mac for pasta. Blah 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 blah. So if that's the case then this pasta might it must be good. It must be good. And the sarcasm is so forced that if I emphasize it even more, it would probably snap my vocal cords in half. Uh, yeah, no, in all seriousness, this story must fucking suck somehow. Anyways, uh, let's get into this shit. Everyone remembers My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, right? Well... There was an episode that never aired. This will be episode 14 of season 3. This is how it all started. I got a job at Hasbro Studios. My job started in 2010, the same year My Little Pony Friendship is Magic came out. But in 2013, I got fired. While I was walking out of Hasbro Studios building, I saw a DVD reading My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, season 3, episode 14. Then I said, what the hell? How can season three have the 14th episode? I then walked into my house and watched the DVD. There was no main menu, but a black screen that showed up and started to flash to red, meaning that the DVD was not for boys. I'm a girl, so you know, I didn't really, I didn't really care that much. Then after 30 minutes, the intro started, but something was wrong with it. The animation looked very rough, like it wasn't finished yet. Also, the audio was pitched down two octaves and was very distorted. So after the intro, of course, the title popped up in bloody red saying, Dead Twilight Sparkle, and then showed Pinkie Pie walking to Twilight's house. The animation seemed okay in this scene. It then cuts to the inside of the house. Pinkie Pie then said in a very scary voice, Hello, Twilight. I am going to tell you something. Twilight Sparkle then said in a very surprised voice, What are you going to do to me? And then Pinkie Pie said, I'm going to kill you. I am the Terminator. Put that cookie down. Now! In the same voice that the Terminator had in so many of the fucking franchises shit, which, you know, like, it, it's the same actor, so, you know, don't worry. Then Twilight Sparkle said, No, God, please don't kill me! In the man's voice. The man didn't sound like Twilight Sparkle's voice. He sounded like he was about to get angry. The death of Twilight Sparkle was cut and replaced with a black screen. Twilight screams can be heard in the background. It then cuts to Pinkie Pie with wet hair and red eyes. She said, See you in hell, girl. The background had flames, and then it cuts to the tombstones of how many ponies had died. One said, Help me. The other said, Why? Then cut to Fluttershy, Applejack, and Rainbow Dash, as they said, Oh gosh, Pinkie Pie killed Twilight. And then it cuts to Twilight with blood all over her. She said, Why? Why didn't you save me? She then started to cry as the camera zooms out. The lost episode ends with a black screen and Uzbek translating into, You couldn't save Twilight Sparkle. This is your fault. End of series. Goodbye. Then the credits roll, but however, they read, Warning, this episode is not to be played 
for boys or babies in Japanese. Again, I'm a girl, and I do think that a warning slide would have been more beneficial if it was at the beginning of the episode rather than the end. Then, I took out the disc and smashed it. The episode was then aired on the Hub Network because people would be too scared by the content of that episode. Oh boy! Yeah, let's talk about my thoughts on this creepy pasta. Alright, let's talk about... There weren't any good things, by the way. There, there were no pros to this creepypasta whatsoever. So yeah, that's kind of sad. Um, everything wa wrong with this creepypasta. It, it's self-explanatory with the story. I mean, the story is pretty much just one paragraph, so you know, that's that's pretty sad. But it, thankfully, it's mercifully short. That's the only good thing that that, you know, the story has going for it is the fact that it's mercifully short. Um, other than that, this story is just absolute shit. It's a ripoff of fucking The Death of Mac, which is already a shit story to begin with. The title rips off Dead Bart, which, you know, is a much better creepypasta than, you know, this. Um, Pinky's reasoning for killing Twilight. There... Pretty much there's no reason whatsoever. Um, unless you're trying to go for a more cupcakes kind of vibe. If you're trying to make a sequel to cupcakes, I could understand that. But, you know, it wasn't established that this was a sequel to cupcakes. Yeah, this story is absolutely fucking awful. And it definitely serves as a reminder for me as to why I pretty much do not narrate My Little Pony Creepypastas. I don't touch that shit with a fucking hundred foot pole. Because, you know... Not only is, you know, My Little Pony something that I'm not really into anymore, but also because of the fact that the creepypastas are absolute hot garbage. With a few exceptions, but most of them are pretty hot garbage. Like the ones that are, um... I think the only good My Little Pony creepypastas would be the ones written by Magpie Pony, but other than that... A lot of the My Little Pony creepypastas, such as Cupcakes, Rainbow Factory, Sweet Apple Massacre, and whatnot, they're absolute garbage, and I don't intend on touching any of them with a 100-foot pole um, in any time in the future. But anyways, uh, I thought I'd touch this one because of the fact that, you know, it's, it's tis the season of reading shit pastas, I guess. But anyways, what do you guys think of this creepypasta, and what will you do to change it better? Uh... For me, I'd probably just scrap the story altogether or change everything. Anyways, we're all entitled to our personal opinions. My final rating is a negative 1 million out of 10. Anyways, I'm out.